morning, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Bandon, Oregon. We are on the Oregon coast. We are starting our road trip down the Oregon coast and then down part of the California coast. Uh, the goal is to get to Big Sur. Uh, look right there behind you. Wow. Got a little so bit of water. You never turn your back to the ocean. A little bit of water sneaking up on us. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we have a few days. We're trying to uh, head down to like the Monterey, uh, San Francisco area um, and trying to check out uh, some of the roads down there. We got the car out this time and uh, just going to try to uh, go for a nice ride. As you can see, the weather couldn't be more beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous down here. The idea was to escape Portland where uh, right now the uh, weather's just been terrible the last few weeks, just rain and wind and gloominess. And so we're like, hey, we got to get out of here and try to find something new. So come along as we go uh, down the Oregon and California coast uh, with stops at the uh, Redwoods and wherever else we can find. Right. Cool to go. in the Avenue of the Giants. If you've uh, been following us for a while, then you know that we've been here before. I'll leave a link uh, to the video above. Uh, last time we were here though, we, we traveled this whole thing and we were able to stop off a bunch of trails and that was the whole point of the uh, video actually. But this time we're just passing through Avenue of the Giants. It's just, right. a, it actually parallels it, the highway. Right, it parallels 101. So there's, I think seven different exits. So you can cut in and cut out, you know, whenever, depending on how much time you have. Um, but we, we cut in at the very first one. Um, so we're, our goal is to get through the bottom and then right at the bottom you can hop back on 101 and continue south. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, the cool thing about that place is, as you can see from the video, I mean the trees are right on the road. Um, and there's so many corners, so if you like driving, there's a ton of motorcycles in there. Uh, a lot of people with sports cars and of course other people that are just going and hiking and stuff. We just unfortunately didn't have time for that, but if you're doing a road trip on any of these coastal, you know, from Oregon coast to California, whatever, make sure you hit Avenue of the Giants, uh, no matter what type of vehicle you're in. It's absolutely amazing in there. Uh, but if you do have a sports car or what have you, it's one of the best drives you could possibly probably do. Well, we finally made it to Highway 1. How was, wow. how was that road, Kim? That was the most insane road. I, I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was 22 miles of this. <laughs> and I it mean, was, yeah. It got down to 10 mile an hour corners. But, I mean, I don't even know how many 15s and 20s. It was... <sighs> insane. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, yeah. So, when we came out of Avenue of the Giants, which was awesome driving through there, what an experience. Uh, we took the top down, and you could just see all the red... Uh, if you've never been to the Redwoods, you have to find a way to get out here and see these trees before well, hopefully they're in our lifetime but I know they keep uh, some starting on fire and right. we're losing more and more of them so definitely get a chance to come out here and see them. Finally out here on Highway 1, absolutely beautiful as you can see behind us and um, trying to make our way. It's been quite the drive today, uh, a lot more driving than we thought we would have but um, it definitely looks beautiful, Looks yeah. reminds me of the uh, Southern Oregon coast so so far uh, it's living up to uh, what they say and I assume that once we get to Big Sur it's it's going to be even better. Good morning, everybody, from Mendocino, California. We are at the northern California coast um, watching the sunrise. Got up a little early this morning to uh, hit the road and see what we could see. And hopefully that we don't get run over by this water. <laughs> uh, but it is absolutely amazing. Oh man, it's it's something else out here for sure. And the colors this morning, I mean, as yeah. you can kind of see in the video. Beautiful. Of course, you know, the camera will never do it justice from what you see with your naked eye. But it's, it's amazing. It's cool. They got these, got these black sand beaches. Um, it's just different because the way that um, the Oregon coast is, when the waves come in, they come in flat, but here everything's, every time we stop, everything's on an incline. So the waves come up and then they go back out and just looks different, looks cool. So, well, like um, you said, so it's, far impressed. It's black and it's rocky. Yeah. It's not It's not the tan sand that you, know, you normally see right. on your beaches.
All right, you guys recognize that big bad boy behind us? We are finally in San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, awesome. It's been a long, long time since we've seen uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, 20 plus years yeah. since yeah. we've been down here. So a beautiful day, so we couldn't have asked for better weather. Um, now we're gonna head into town and uh, try to see some sights, then continue our way down to uh, Big Sur. All right, so that was an awesome experience. <laughs> Too cool. Um, so far, pretty impressed with San Francisco. I mean, we were able to pull off of this uh, road. What's Lombard? Lombard. Mm -hmm. Park in like a block away. Yeah. <laughs> no, didn't have to pay to park. Um, you park like this crazy. though, on a yeah, hill. That's like, true. So the car looks like it's gonna just like flip yeah. and roll down the hill. <laughs> it's weird. You go, to, you go to Portland or Seattle or wherever we're from. Yeah, it's a pain to try to find a place to park. Maybe we just got lucky, but I, I don't yeah. know. Uh, we're gonna head down to the, uh, the Fisherman's Wharf, try to pick up lunch. And then time to start heading back down, but um, that this thing oh right here, gosh, eight like, hair pins. There's a truck coming down. Yeah, just an awesome, just a cool <laughs> experience if you ever get a chance. Here they come. That's crazy. Uh, it actually said no trucks or vans. But... Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. That folks is Alcatraz, the prison on an island. I don't know if that's really what they call, it, but that's what I'm calling it. All right, well we were gonna do the cable cars, but unfortunately. This is the line, uh, and we just don't have that kind of time. Unfortunately, we got to get driving. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do that, show up early. Hello everybody from Santa Cruz, California. We are just cruising down the highway. Uh, highway one. On our way down to um, wherever we're going and we're here for the sunset. Tonight. So another beautiful one. If you can see these awesome cliffs right on right behind yeah. us. I mean, this coast has been unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Good morning, everybody. We finally made it. It took forever. A uh, little south now, Big Sur, but as you can see behind us, absolutely awesome. Um, pretty much everything we expected to be, and we're not even, we could travel this uh, one all, yeah. for hours and hours and hours. Um, if you want to drive, you know, if you're looking for a great drive with uh, awesome corners and beautiful That's views. That's what I was going to say. I mean, it was the perfect road for Jason and his car. Yeah, it wouldn't be perfect for. <laughs> Yeah, we've seen trucks, well, we we've saw, seen RVs, we saw we've seen all kinds of stuff. We truck with an Airstream, we're yeah. like, wow, that would not be, that You could do it, fun. just wouldn't be a good time, um, right. especially with a lot of traffic and stuff. Got a lot of bugs going on here. Yeah. Um, but and, anyway. And there are campgrounds. We saw campgrounds actually in Big Sur. Mm -hmm. um, we knew nothing of the area. We thought it was all just coastline. Um, but you actually cut in and there's like a grove of redwoods and stuff back there. And they have campgrounds with um, like little cabins and restaurants. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of stuff back in there. Yeah. Not, a, I mean, the whole point of coming out here is for the drive. There's really nothing else to do. There's some hikes and stuff, but um, very little towns in between. I mean, you're talking 40, 50 miles in between towns. Uh, so you're not going to have lots of services and things of that nature. Right. No, but that's, that's not Gas why you're early. here. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see the, uh, the cool bridges behind us. The roads are fantastic. Um, and the water is just absolutely beautiful. It's 70, it's going to be 75 today in that's just insane for uh, at home right now i think it's 32. yeah it is so i can see why uh, it might be busy but i can see why people come here so we stopped off real quick i like how you 
Pope Donald. I don't know if you were here too. <laughs> what was the name of this uh, place? Do you know? Big Sur Lodge. Uh, yeah, Big Sur Lodge. Just stopped off real quick. Um, they have a gift shop and just use the restroom real quick, but they have all kinds of trails through this place. They had a shirt in there that shows like 10 or 15 different trails just in this small little area. Um, you can see these redwoods uh, behind us. Insane. Right. So you can just park here, go to the gift shop. Uh, they have a restaurant here. Uh, if you're just looking for a cool place to stop and it's absolutely beautiful in here just to come from like the coast where it's uh, you're on a cliff driving and all of a sudden you're inland and then all of a sudden you're in a redwood forest so yeah unbelievable yeah and there's a state park here too uh pfeiffer i think it was pfeiffer, yeah. pfeiffer or something state park um so you can continue farther in um but you don't have to you know go all the way in and pay your state park fees the lodge is accessible right off the road and they have a nice gift shop and there's restrooms and yeah. a little market too all right, so that was a nice little way to uh, get out and stretch your legs a little bit, um, considering we've been driving for days. days um, and then this morning, a few hours already. So if you stop off here at this uh, spot, you can hike around for, you know, half a mile, walk around a river, okay. go over a little bridge and what have you, and then be able to get back and uh, feel a little bit more refreshed. Get out in nature. Uh, they have, like I said, a million trails, though, so right. you don't so feel like you want to go do. longer, you can. Yeah. But... Yep. Nice spot to stop, though. This restaurant you can actually take your food down into the water and have yourself a picnic. <laughs> right, yeah, let's check this out. Okay, this is funny. Hey, there's your fries. <laughs> Inside a cooler. This is just clever. They do this because if you walk down there and you have mills like fiber, look, you even got knives in here. Uh, if you had like five mills. It makes it really easy to carry. Pretty smart. The one thing that I did want to say though is if you are going to drive this highway, get up early. We're up at that's, six. That's like our number one tip on everything that we get do. Up early. Get up early. It's insane. When we pulled into this uh, restaurant, we were the only ones in this whole parking lot. Now you have people parking on top of other people. Yeah. It's insane. And the road, if you take this road and you have to sit behind somebody doing 25 or 30 miles an hour the whole time, you're not gonna enjoy yourself. So get up at six or 6.30, get on the road. Yep. You're gonna love it. You're gonna be all by yourself. On the way up, we didn't <laughs> run into anybody. And anybody that we did run into got pulled, they just pulled over. Now there's so many cars that you couldn't You'd even, never... you'd have to have 30 cars pull over for right. you. So get up early, you gotta do it. It's magnificent, one of the coolest drives I've ever been on. Um, I mean, you just one of the see, top of the world. It's just nonstop traffic behind us and those are all people heading south. Right. I yeah. mean, it's like almost probably going to be hard to get out of here, which is absolutely insane because there was nobody on the road this morning. All right, so that there is the famous Bigsby Bridge. This is the uh, photo that pretty much everybody wants to get uh, when you come here to um, Highway 1 in Big Sur. And as you can see, there's a reason why. That definitely does not disappoint. You can see how the road just kind of winds up through that uh, green pasture up there, and it's just absolutely amazing. Mazda Laguna Seca. So we figured we didn't get enough driving in today. So we figured we're already here. Uh, this is the famous uh, racetrack uh, with the corkscrew. If you're not familiar with um, racing here, it's, it's an iconic uh, racetrack for sure. And just hoping to be able to check out the gift shop, but it's only open on the weekends and we're here on a Monday, unfortunately. So anyway, he was nice enough, said, hey, we can come down and take a look. So just kind of watching some of these guys race around. This is Spanish Bay Beach and Spanish explorers camped here in 1769. This is the most restless section of Pebble Beach. 
and back in the day, many mariners mistook this entrance for Monterey Bay and ended up crashing into these rocks. So there were many shipwrecks out here. All right, so we're gonna try to keep the sun out of it, but you can see that one lone little cypress right hey. there. If you're familiar with Pebble Beach Golf Links, that is their symbol, but it's just a lone uh, cypress just out here on this rock. It's been here for since long 1919. Time. 1919 is how long it's been there? Mm -hmm. Wow. They got strapped down um, because of high winds yeah. and stuff, just uh, otherwise it would be gone at this point. But anyway. Right, it looks like they built a little retaining wall in front of it too, so it doesn't, it's not going to fall off the rock. It says here that in the winter they can get surfing swells and get waves up to 50 feet. Look at it out there right now. Could you imagine it seeing 50 long. foot swells like, out here for surfing? All right, so we are now at the Pebble Beach Golf Links for all you golf fellow golfers out there. My dad promised me around here at one point, it was an IOU that he never paid for. <laughs> so he still owes me around of golf at Pebble Beach. So dad, this is for you. I'm sitting here waiting for our tea time. It's supposed to be at three o'clock. Uh, but anyway, so this is uh, one of the last stops on that tour. Uh, overall, pretty cool uh, place. I mean, you get to see if, you, if you're envious of million dollar homes and whatever, you can see a million of those, but uh, more it's for the beaches and uh, the cypresses and things of that nature is just a beautiful uh, drive. If you are in the area, you're looking for something to do. It took a couple hours. Um, and like I said, it ends here at uh, Pebble Beach and then they've got a bunch of shops and um, restaurants and things like that where you can eat if you want, so. So that, folks, is a view of the 18th green. Some people just uh, getting ready to shoot up into it. But look at that. If any of you have ever got to play Pebble Beach, I'm envious. Please comment in the comments and let me know how awesome it was. And except, what your score was. Except for you, Dad. We don't care about what you did because I'm still waiting for my tea time. <laughs>